what's going on guys i'm jada blacks shout out to everybody that's tuning in make sure y'all like the video and hopefully y'all sharing it because i want to speak on something that is all too common in our society when you take a unpopular opinion when you support people who are not supported um, by the majority you know there are a majority of people that probably support bill cosby you're going to get canceled. You're going to be criticized. And now Felicia Rashad, the former TV wife of Bill Cosby, is facing a cancellation of her own. She posted Bill Cosby on social media and she praised the fact that he was home, that he was out of jail where he should be. He should not be incarcerated. I don't care what any of you uh, have to say. I don't care what you beta males have to say. I don't care what you bitter feminist women have to say. This man made a deal years ago that if he was honest about certain things, he would not go to prison. And that uh, basically that deal uh, was supposed to have been in effect, but they bypassed that. And that's how he's out now because they went through all the wrong protocols. But be that as it may, I posted my initial response to it. I'll link it in the description if you hadn't seen it. I also link another video I did about Felicia Rashad um, when she showed support for him right before he went to jail and how people were attacking her. And people are attacking her now and they're trying to cancel this woman. Uh, this is a woman who's never been, okay, uh, someone who's about drama. She's never been somebody who attacked other people. She's just supporting somebody who she really has love for um she's not like this person here uh this talk about bitter um this is a bitter woman right here that wants to attack felicia which no oh, attack her but she wants to call her out what happened with the sisterhood you know you could pick up the phone and you can call felicia rashad if you have her number she probably doesn't talk to you but this is the type of attitude i'm talking about that's why i'm addressing this because it's pathetic how people are taking their frustration and anger about Cosby getting out on Felicia Rashad, who was just being a friend to him, not being a fake Hollywood friend, not being a friend when everything is good, but when things go bad, you leave him. She showed loyalty towards Bill Cosby, something that Janet here knows nothing about because all she has done for years was attack her former castmates, who, by the way, never said anything publicly about her. But we're going to get into this uh, New York Post article. This is pathetic. Outraged Howard University students and alumni are calling for actress Felicia Rashad to be fired as dean of his College of Fine Arts in the wake of her enthusiastic support of Bill Cosby's release from prison. The hashtag by Felicia a play on by Felicia, if you know, you know, uh, started trending this week after the actress celebrated her former Cosby Show co-star's release with a ju jubilant, finally, a terrible wrong is being righted, a miscarriage of justice is, create, is corrected. The actress tweeted along with a photo of Cosby, whose uh, assault, uh, assault convictions were overturned Wednesday on a legal technicality. Again, that's on them not on Cosby. Okay? <laughs> That's on them. They should have done their due diligence. All right. How university has so far not announced any planned action against its incoming celebrity Dean herself, a former student, merely noting that Rashad's tweet lacked sensitivity towards survivors of assault. <laughs> she never called anybody out. She didn't make light of what may or may not happened. I just want y'all to understand, man, black people, we talk about oppression. We talk about how the quote unquote dominant society is constantly tearing us down, preventing us from being successful. But here you have other Negroes trying to get another black person, a black woman fired because she's shown support. How many of you same people, and I'm talking to you people, support people who are degenerates? You support degenerate culture. You support degenerate music. 
you denigrate each other and yourselves when you call each other the n-word you're okay with all that you're okay with being mistreated and disrespected all the time the same people and it's probably these same women these same women that have such an issue with felicia rashad probably are dating some dysfunctional male who puts hands on them but they're not trying to cancel that relationship but you're trying to cancel felicia rashad i hope they don't fire her she should not be fired under no circumstances because she did nothing wrong Cancel culture is a joke. Cancel culture is about trying to ruin people who don't think the same way that we do. But I just find it very hypocritical that the same people who talk about oppression are the same people who are trying to get somebody who looks like them fired. Now, I know this ain't the majority of black people. This is just a small vocal minority mixed in you got some caucasian liberals mixed in there you got the feminists the me too era is gone this proves it no one cares about it anymore we, we we realized that it was just all political it was all about gaining power and resources and once they were able to get some some of that no one really cared about who was getting me too anymore it just became about cancel culture it just became about canceling male or female whoever we don't agree with that's what it's about Let's continue on. Hold her ass accountable. Whitney, class of 2024, wrote on Instagram. I'm not even going to read some of this BS. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box. Y'all going to read it. I'm trying to skip through some of this. I think it's good that Felicia Rashad spoke up and showed that she's not qualified to be Dean of College Fine Arts alumni Andrew Addison wrote, probably smacking his lips and, you know, uh, <laughs> probably was smacking his lips and clacking his fingernails on the table when he wrote it. Anyway, it's really on Howard to do the right thing and rectify the situation. Journalist Nyla Burton says she was assaulted during her time at the historical black college and would not have felt safe under rashad's guidance let's see me get through some of this while others were shocked at the actress turn giving the goodness of tv character on the cosby show i don't want to live in a world where you can't even trust claire huxtable others insist that rashad's follow-up tweet in which she insisted she was in no way intended to be insensitive to assault uh, survivors was dismissed as a day late and a dollar short well let me tell you something let me tell y'all people something man i don't want to hear nothing about oppression i don't want to hear nothing about what the white man is doing when you are clearly trying to tear down somebody who did nothing to y'all because you don't like the fact that she shown support for cosby there's a lot of women there's a lot of women uh men uh who show support for cosby are you gonna cancel them too Y'all are probably dating men who've done egregious things and you're not canceling them. You people are a joke. Let's get to what Janet, um, uh, former, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air cast member who got replaced. I actually feel like the newer, uh, woman that they replaced with actually did a better job. But anyway, this is according to Yahoo News. Just hours after the Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned Bill Cosby's conviction for uh, indecent assault and ordered his release from prison, his longtime friend and former television wife, Felicia Rashad, posted on Twitter to celebrate the news. And not long after that, another familiar face from primetime uh, past spoke up on social media. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air star Janet Herbert, uh, Hubert, best known to fans as the original on Viv from the series first three seasons called out Rashad over a tweet in which the Cosby show alum claimed that a terrible wrong is being righted and referred to Cosby's earlier conviction as a miscarriage of justice. Felicia, what are you thinking? Her uh, Hubert wrote in a tweet. I don't know you, but to say this was a terrible wrong. Everyone knew what he was doing back then. How could you not get your umbrella sis? Here comes the, I guess the, shower or shit shower whatnot i am outraged that he has been released yes he is an old ass guilty man cosby was convicted in 2018 on three counts of felony aggravated indecent assault allegedly doing you know what 
in the follow up tweet, Hubert wrote, I would have said he's old, he's out, and I'm happy for him, but he's still guilty. I know five women who have not come forward enough. Y'all, we know better powerful men do wrong things, black or white. Uh, her post sparked a variety of responses from fans and followers, some picking sides between her and Rashad, with some supporting Cosby and others criticizing the timing of her message. One commenter wrote, y'all celebrities love to nitpick to be socially conscious. Keep this energy all the time and not when it's a number one trending topic. Rashad, who's 73, uh, she deleted her original tweet supporting her former co-star after facing backlash on social media from critics who equated her support for Cosby of a lack of support for women who have spoken out about their own experiences. You know what's funny? These women don't talk about their experiences until a, a black celebrity man is in the crosshairs. Listen, I don't make light of what happens in these situations. I just want y'all to understand that Bill Cosby was meant to be the, the he was meant to be the sacrificial lamb of the Me Too movement. When he got out, it triggered a lot of them because they thought that they they thought that they have weaponized Me Too and cancel culture to attack and to de to take powerful men out of positions of power. But who have they removed? Bill Cosby was a symbol of, of the fact that what they had done had worked. And the fact that he got out showed that what they were doing didn't necessarily work. Listen, <clears throat> there's a lot of men in Hollywood who've done a lot of weird things and nobody calls them out. Nobody cancels them. Why is Bill Cosby the only one that's being singled out? I think y'all pretty much know the answer to that question.